This is Joe at Briley Manufacturing. I'm one of the Gunswiss here, and today we're going to be demonstrating for you how to install a Briley Easy Lever in your Stoger self-loading shotgun. So for this demonstration gun, this already has an Easy Lever installed. So I went ahead and removed the screw that retains the paddle to the Easy Lever itself. That way I can remove that. So your shotgun will more or less be in this configuration with the stock uh, bolt release cartridge stop. And what we're going to be doing here is putting in a vise. So a vise is not 100% required, but highly recommended for this operation. So you're going to put it in your vise with the bottom of the receiver facing up so that you can see inside the receiver. You have your spring-loaded cartridge stop there, and that's what is actually the easy lever is going to replace. So with a punch, this one in particular is a 5 fourths punch, we're going to be driving our pin out towards the top of the receiver and it will fall inside the receiver or somewhere on the floor just keep track of it there now our easy lever slash cartridge stop can come out along with its spring and you have your cartridge stop assembly so with the cartridge stop assembly removed you have your retaining pin there is also a hairpin clip inside the receiver that we're going to want to make sure we do not lose. And that is actually still in the receiver. So that makes reassembly a lot easier. With your easy lever assembly, you have your actual cartridge stop component, the latch body itself, a spring, and the pin that holds the entire assembly together. So while depressing your actual cartridge stop there, you can push the pin through and sometimes using a paper clip is very helpful. And you can push the pin through like that. And while maintaining spring pressure, you can pull the pin all the way through. Slowly release the spring pressure and take your paper clip out. And now you have your separate components of the spring, the actual latch itself, and the latch body. Now, with the Briley supplied part, all you're going to do is take your spring, put it back in there, and then with spring pressure, reinstall that into the latch body. And while holding spring pressure on there, you're going to reinsert the pin through the components. Somewhat difficult while fighting spring pressure. But you want to line up everything with the cartridge stop. Like that, fighting sp spring pressure. Right there you can see that it's part of the way through. So while continuing to apply pressure, you can push all the way up like that. And now your cartridge assembly, cartridge stop assembly is assembled. Very luckily with these Stoger latches and some other types of firearms, they have a nub here that will actually retain your cartridge latch spring. So you're going to put the smaller end over that and press down and that will help retain your spring there. And then you're going to reinsert into the receiver, making sure to keep that spring on that nub. And retaining it like that. And you're gonna to wanna to keep spring pressure on that for when we reinsert this pin. We're going to take that pin once again and with the notch side facing upwards towards your ceiling, we're going to reinsert the pin. So now that the pin is started in there, you can take your paper clip or your punch and while maintaining pressure against your cartridge latch, you're going to come in and push that pin all the way through and your hairpin clip should retain that. So now that is reinstalled inside the gun. 
one consideration to make is that the pin that retains your cartridge latch assembly does not protrude into the area that the bolt carrier rides on. And that hairpin clip helps ensure that. Now that we have the easy lever in the gun, easy installation of the paddle itself onto the notch there. And you're going to take your screw that is supplied with it. You can start threading that. And then you're also going to take the supplied Allen key and screw down the paddle until it's snug. And just check it. We are spring loaded. So now our installation is complete.